Well, congratulations, Mark, on uh, your new role here at Reading as manager. Are you excited by the challenge this, this offers and what lies ahead for you? Oh, well, absolutely delighted. You know, um, it's been a, been a difficult, obviously, week, 10 days, along long it's been since, since, um, since the last game. And um, obviously been busy and focused on other things, obviously. But, um, you know, when the, the opportunity was given to me, uh, the question was asked, would I be prepared to take over? It took me all the two minutes to say yes, you know, I've been at the club a short period of time, obviously, probably from since last March, but quickly recognised what a special place it is and, and special people to work with and for. So it's, uh, again, really exciting time and can't wait to get started and, and get on with things. You mentioned when you did join, you joined initially in the kind of consultancy role and sporting director. And I guess this move back into, into, into management, into the technical area is something you're very familiar with really kind of the coaching side and all, all that goes with it yeah uh, listen I was enjoying the role as sporting director it was something that uh, was new to me it was a, a completely different situation where I've been used to over the years but enjoying it but at the same time you know my I, I guess what I consider my forte and what I've been uh, good at let's say good at uh, over the last 20 years has been coaching players educating players getting the best out of players problem solving, whatever you want to call it, in terms of preparing teams to go and win football matches. And I did miss, you know, as much as I enjoyed the sporting director role, I did miss the role of being on the grass with the players. And you mentioned there that 20 years of experience in coaching capacity, a lot of that spent in the Premier League. And as you mentioned already, really improving players, but also how to, how to win football matches as well. Yeah, very much so. I, you know, and no disrespect to the clubs that I've been at, probably the exception of Manchester City. Most of the clubs you've been at, it's been, uh, you're starting off you know, most Saturdays thinking, well, how can you uh, plan a team and, 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 and prepare them against probably opposition that were on paper uh, better, better equipped, if you like. So it was all about problem solving and being adaptable and pragmatic and all those things that I've had to learn over the years. Um, and, and, and it's, I think it's set me up in good stead for anything that, any challenges that may be ahead here. And you've touched on it already, you want to get out on the grass and the training field as well, because that's... Uh not every manager necessarily wants to be out on the training pitch, but that's something you enjoy and relish. No, yeah, I, I th you know when you've got a group of players that um, you know to, to to actually get in their heads and try and improve them as well, not just as individuals but as a team as well. Again, that's been the focus of my life for so long now. Mm -hmm. And of course, because you know the players, you've spent time with them, you must feel like you're hopefully inheriting a, a strong group, you know, mentally, yeah. Uh, yeah. And mentally, and uh, and what they can do on a pitch as well. Yeah, definitely so. I mean, the one thing I'll say about the, the the, and so it's, it's a sort of phrase that's overused, if you like, what's, what's, the, what's the dressing room like, the dynamic of the dressing room, but the one thing I do know is we've got a group of players here that, uh, that work well together, they're, they're a good group, they get on together, they're very conscientious, they want to do the right things, and I think as a, as a starting block that's, that's very important as well. You know, I look at look the squad and the group of players and I think they, they, want, they, want to, they want to do the right things, they want to push on for the club, they've have got a feeling for the club, so it's a... I think it's an ideal starting point. Mm. And even though the ne results necessar haven't necessarily gone exactly the way we wanted this season, with the kind of skills and abilities you see, you must have that feeling that there is a, a lot of potential to be tapped out of this group yeah. and yeah. a force to be reckoned with. You know, I, I've, I've had, uh, I did have and I still got a fantastic relationship with Jose Gomez and, and, and I saw all, all the fantastic work that he put in. But coaching, you know, it's an individual business and every, every coach, every manager has a, a different way of doing things and, and may, maybe you know, a different voice and a different philosophy, a different method of doing things can, can uh, add and change the dynamic of the, the results in the group as well. And that's what I'll be able to do. And you'll, you'll kind of have your first full week, hopefully, of training this week, building up to the Preston game. What, what will you be looking for uh, out of your players this week? Well, I think, I was going to say you're looking for a reaction, but I think that comes naturally anyway. You know, a new, new manager coming into the club that it t tends to raise the level of things. But I think it's that... Um, concentrating on that intensity that the, the players initially they'll show anyway because they're all as again I say enthusiastic to show what they can do if you like in the first few days but they've got to make sure that carries on certainly in the Preston game and, and even weeks and months on from there it's creating that enthusiasm and that desire in players that 
ultimately will bring results to us. Mm. And, and in your time as a manager, as a, a player, I'm sure you've seen in the championship in particular, you kind of build momentum through getting results, I suppose. And I guess that's your focus in the coming weeks and months is getting the results for Reading Football Club. It's got to be. It's got to be. Again, it's, it's a results driven business. You know, nobody knows probably no more than me over the years. You know, you'd be, you do as a coach, as a manager, you're in and out of jobs. And, and it's sometimes you've left jobs, I've left jobs and thought you did a fantastic job at there, at that club. But ultimately, it's all about points on the board. It's all about where you are in the table. And it's measurable week in, week out. And you've got three points to play for as early as this Saturday here at Medeski Stadium against Preston North End. So um, I'm sure you're relishing the, what that will bring and, uh, and looking forward to that. Yeah, I think it was like, well, when I first came in back last March, the first game in my capacity as a technical advisor to Jersey was the home game to Preston. We got the three points, played really well. And with that... Always in the back of my mind, I'll take those uh, positives into the game at the weekend as well. But, you know, we've got a, we've got a um, tough, difficult four or five days leading up to Saturday now. Obviously, players coming back from international duty as well and making sure we're focused with everything that's gone on over the past week or so, making sure we're focused and ready to do us of justice. You know, the one thing I will say is, when, you know, when I came in in, in in March, the first thing that really struck me, that first home game was the camaraderie in the club the feeling that the supporters had towards the team and that's massive you know you know myself coming into this job now the players as well the first thing we'll all say is we can't do it without the fans backing you know and I, for them I feel for them on anything because you know they had a, 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 a close feeling for, for Jose Gomez the football moves on and, and all I can ask of them now and the club is to let's all get behind each other stick together because that's the only way this club can move forward. Wish you the very best of luck on Saturday and beyond. Thanks, man. Thanks, Mark.